Okay. We're not gonna ruin it this time for you, Megan. We're gonna be quiet. We're no. gonna be respectable. Cheese, 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 cheese. You sex the cheese. You sex the cheese. No, it's fine. So what you're saying? Actually, is... you know what though? I have been drinking wine since I got home. So I thought you were gonna say woke up. <laughs> so I, I was like, like I saw you. With you. The <laughs> You don't know what was in that coffee cup. <laughs> oh my god. It's just coffee. It's really bad coffee that had grounds in it because I Ooh. broke the bag. Ooh. It was cold brew and it was in a bag and I broke the bag. So there was, I filtered it like three times to get the grounds out and oh. it did not end well. But crunchy coffee. It was crunchy know. coffee, but it was super caffeinated. Oh good. Yeah, because of pieces of beans in there. They in there all day long. <laughs> now with organic pieces of beans. <laughs> Now with 30% more pieces beans. of beans. <laughs> TM. Yay, welcome back. Well, spring has sprung and it's about past. Uh, Memorial Day's coming up. It's hot, it's gross. Um, allergy season is upon us, but that also means that there's lots of beautiful, wonderful flowers. And everybody's been posting these pictures of like, She's covered in flowers and I've been super, super jealous and I finally got my hands on some and then she found some more so now there's two, there's two cheeses <laughs> with flowers and herbs. I don't know what makes it different but it's pretty and that's what matters and so now we're going to taste and see <laughs> what makes it special. Yeah. So this one, I don't know what it is but it was in French and I'm not going to try it again. Le Cremeau de Bourgogne. So what is this one? It's from the grocery store chain Wegmans. It's in the section of the grocery store where they put fog at night. Ooh. It's near the truffles, but not in contact with the truffles. I think it's a Swiss. Hmm. So that one's from Wegmans. This one was from Whole Foods. It was on sale. And I'm happy. Alright, the question is, is it an hey. edible rind? I vote yes, because why would you do that with beautiful flowers? I'm like really nervous about eating this. <laughs> I feel like I'm essentially eating cheese I dropped in the grass <laughs> after mowing. <laughs> it smells very footy. It smells, yeah, that's I, was, I smelled it and I was like, oh no. Okay, there's some steak. I'm just going to dink dink a little of them off the top. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Alp Blossom, which is something that I had read about and I really wanted to try, so that's really exciting. So yay, it's delicious. Fun times. Oh. Wait, does that one say what kind of flowers are on it, or does it just say what type of cheese? Corn flower, marigold, rose, lavender, parsley, Ooh. rosemary. So for this one, it's got marigold, corn flower, roses, and that's why I thought there's a, there's a little rose facing it. That's really pretty, but I think there's some fun stuff on that side too. Mm. Um, leek. Strawberry leaves, parsley, and mint. So now to the soft one. <laughs> that one. I like this better with the rind, which is really surprising. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. When I tried it without the rind, it was almost like a little too like stinky. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, no, that's fantastic. Yeah. You can yeah. really taste like all mm -hmm. the different flavors. I love the uh, combination of like the rosemary and the lavender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's real nice. Oh yeah, that's like that smells like straight like chef. Mm -hmm. That smells great. Oh wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yo. I can taste those flowers, baby! <laughs> kind of like zesty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little zesty, little tangy. It's good though. Mm-hmm. It has like a floral aftertaste. Yeah, that's why I was, I was, it's like spicy when you first taste it and then afterwards it tastes like whatever, lilacs or... I've shoved more cheese in my face Good before cheese, I cheese. could taste the aftertaste. Are you going to put the cheese on the cheese? I'm putting the cheese on the cheese, y'all. I definitely think like the floweriness complements a softer cheese more than it complements a hard cheese mm -hmm. for some reason, at least that just for me personally. Um, so I think it blends together better when it's softer. Mm -hmm. I'm curious because you got the middle piece, so you didn't get any of the rind, mm. and the rind is actually where all the seasoning is, not is so much the flowers. Yeah. Do you want to try it with the rind? I could try it. Like with this, it's straight up like all the spices are there, and you're gonna get more like garlicky, herby. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See? So like that's where all the flavor is. Yeah. 
I really like this one too because like you said mm -hmm. it's just it just it is almost citrusy when you first bite into it with it and it has something in it like you know what I mean oh, like sorry. a lot of times when you get like seasoned chev like you taste the seasoning and the chev but this is more mm -hmm. just like you taste it in the cheese I think that's the thing with these cheeses mm -hmm. is each bite is going to be a little bit different because you're yeah. getting different flowers like a lot yeah. of the flavor is just like laying right there mm -hmm. so it's going to be inconsistent yeah. bite to bite <laughs> which like a little adventure. It's true. <laughs> a little adventure you don't even have to uh, leave your bathroom for. Your kitchen for. Your bathroom for. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Well, I think that's about it. Mm. We had cheese. There were flowers. There are now crystal gems. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, family. Yay! Bye. Check us out next time when Megan does more cheese of the more month. More cheese! Check out any of the other stuff we have on the project project on our YouTube and subscribe. Click that button. Follow us on Insta. If you don't, I'm gonna get you.